Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil and eraser uh, review, and we are going to look at some pencils made in Germany and made their way to me through Spain. So, a, a friend of mine, actually a colleague of mine at work, um, was in Spain on a vacation, and Madrid and Barcelona maybe, uh, and uh, during the course of his travels, he was in a store that had stationery and things, and oh, he thought of his work buddy. Wasn't that nice? And so he brought me um, these Faber-Castell pencils and erasers. Uh, so these are packaged uh, two pencils per pack. We've got an HB and a 2B and two uh, erasers, uh, the Faber-Castell uh, PVC-free erasers. So they're in a kind of a blister pack here and because these were uh, packaged for Spain, you'll see that uh, there's actually nothing, I don't believe there's anything in English on any of these packets. I could be wrong, but um, basically it's two graphite pencils. Uh, the 9000 Castell uh, model and again, they're in a very, very nice looking package here. Here's the HBs as noted here at the bottom. Peach monochrome. And yep, two graphite pencils. And you can see we've got this on the back. Distributor in Spain. Carlos Wendell, so a uh, distributor in Portugal, Iberix. So there are two companies who work with Faber-Castell uh, to distribute these products in Spain and Portugal. And you can see we have it in Spanish and Portuguese. So that is definitely the market here for these pencils. The packages are identical. You'll notice that at the bottom they denote the core value. But other than that, they are the same. And then we have two uh, erasers of vinyl. And so we've got they are the white. I've never seen them packaged this way. Uh, here, uh, there's, I've only seen them sold as a single, sometimes in a blister pack, and sometimes not, sometimes just sort of bulk. Um, and again, on the back here, uh, I believe that's just in Spanish. So, what I'm going to do, there's also, they come pre-sharpened. So, I'm going to see if I can cut here. Pull one of these each out. Let's adjust the focus here. So 
so there's a very shiny gold foil but I'm trying to get it water-based varnish Wasser lock made in SV made in Germany there's the website and HB funny how it has the www and then the website I think you know in these times with the internet now 25 plus years old like so many we just stop saying www um, just interesting that it's still imprinted there and then here I'm trying to get a something tilted so you don't get such a reflection there's the Castell 9000 and Faber Castell HB you can see it is just capped at the top has a product code there I have seen these for sale in France and they're sold individually so it says HB on three of the sides on this pencil um, looks like hmm, could be cedar uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up has a reddish tone to it I'm not necessarily getting any kind of aroma from the pencil but it is a hexagonal pencil and the 2B is exactly the same with the exception of the core strength and its indicator here so I'm going to get out a eraser I'm going to get out a 2B um, pencil and we will try these Faber Castell made in Germany sold in Spain eraser and pencils we will get these out I'm looking at the eraser here before I unwrap it comfort edge for added ease when using clean and smooth erasing of black lead pencils so here you do have actually something in English on the eraser made in Malaysia so the erasers are not made in Germany and PVC free so we will unwrap it's got a little pull tab here like a pack of chewing gum there we go so has the cardboard sleeve around the eraser not any particularly strong smell but um, you'll try it and the pencil we have our German pencils and uh, German eraser made in Malaysia and uh, all purchased in Spain and you know what let's write it on some French paper so we're just gonna be very continental here uh, we're gonna try the the HB first uh, so this is of course the most common core strength at least here in the US number two is pretty much the standard Mm-hmm. 
and these were pre-sharpened already so I'm using the factory point think you could probably see the difference. I can certainly feel the difference here. They're both um, very smooth writing pencils. The 2B is um, a little quieter, as you might expect, but they both write nicely. So, here's our eraser. How does it work on its own products? Well, there's our crumbs. This is what you're getting. Honestly, uh, it's okay. Um, but can we do better? Can we do better? Yep, yeah, we can. So, there's these two. And uh, I don't couldn't tell you the chemical composition of either of these. They're synthetic, certainly. Um, but uh, the Pentel is doing a better job. Let's try another German eraser. Okay. Well... Statler, not too shabby. Another Japanese eraser. Well, suffice to say, I think You know, even the pink pearl is marginally better. Yeah. So, the Faber-Castell eraser, I'm gonna, let me just get the HB since it's the harder of the two. Let me give it one more 
try here. Yeah. Um. Wish it was a better grade on the eraser. However, the pencils really are nice. Um, the pencils really are beautiful. Paint job. Comfortable. Nice hex. They write very smoothly. And for a European HB, um, I think it has a tone more akin to an American HB. Often some of the European HBs can be on the lighter side and on the harder side. Um, the 2B to me is a is a perfect balance. Yeah. Dark, smooth, and um, for what it's worth, point retentions on either of these is probably about the same. So, anyways, thanks for um, spending a few minutes with me as we got into these German pencils from Spain and eraser. Uh, pencils are both lovely and nice. Uh, good writers. For those of you who are artists, I'm sure they would perform equally as well as they do for handwriting. Um, the eraser, at least in the experience here, is just fair. No, but the pencils are great. So, uh, thanks to my work friend who brought these for me and thank you all for watching please share like and subscribe if you're so inclined and i look forward to seeing you again soon back here on always analog